Hey everybody. Uh, so we're at the Lincoln Electric Factory for spring make uh, here this year, and a lot of a lot of YouTubers that you're gonna know, a lot of makers are here. Uh, name a couple right off the top of my head: Tom Malecki, I'm um, John Malecki, April Wilkerson, Jimmy Deresta, Doug from Retro Weld. As a matter of fact, I'll spin you around here. Uh, that's Doug right back there. There. Like they're having a conversation but I wanted to run you through it's kind of the wrapping up the end of the day here at the weld school uh, we've been doing some teaching um, some learning uh, just just man sharing sharing tips and tricks and it's been a, a great day we're gonna go inside here in just a minute I'll run you through the classroom which is just a classroom and then we'll run out to the lab and we're in the one of the distributor training labs here it's not the big weld school the big weld school is across the road we'll we're going to get the tour of that tomorrow, but they wanted to keep it a little more up close and personal for just for YouTubers here, so they're not the regular full-time students, which, you know, it makes a lot of sense. Um, this has just been an outstanding, and it's been an amazing day. Uh, I got to meet a lot of folks, share a lot of information, a lot of stories, and I uh, got to help a lot of people with, you know, stuff that they struggle with, with welding. Some people have never had that opportunity, never had anyone sit down with them for 10 or 15, 20 minutes and, and show them how to weld aluminum or how to weld stainless or how to weld uh, carbon steel. Uh, we're trying to scrounge up some titanium to let a couple people try titanium. We'll see, you know, we'll see what happens. So uh, let me turn the camera around and we'll walk through and you can, you can say hi to everybody. There's Mr. Malecki right there. Hey guys, you're live. Say hi. Hey, how's it going? Hey, hey, man. hey guys. We're good. Did you guys have a good day today? Awesome. Kind of blast. I got defeated by aluminum. Tomorrow it's mine. Tomorrow you'll own it? Tomorrow I'm going to destroy it. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. There's Mr. Diaresta. So everybody's just chilling out. Kind of winding down the day here. Brian Fuller from Fuller Moto. Sorry, Julie. You can leave like your comment and how it is, Tom. I wish you were here with us, buddy. It's going to be a little noisy out here, so bear with us. The big exhaust fans are running. This is the, one of their distributor training labs. Uh, this is where they train, uh, you know, basically their employees. So this is a well training area and you can see everybody's kind of wrapping up, they're all cleaning up. So April is doing her Instagram thing right now. It's my life. Yep. So how'd you do today? Did okay. How did you How did you feel? I mean, you look like you're doing a lot better. You feel pretty good. Good training, but uh, the technique. Uh, well, it comes with. It. It's practice, bro. You know, nobody got on a bicycle the first time and rode it unless they were old, right? So, did I say old? What? So here's the lab. How'd you do today? How'd you feel about it? I feel very good about today. I had a lot of fun. I especially like the um, steel welding. You like the steel? Steel or stainless? I haven't tried stainless yet, so steel. so far steel is So really aluminum's a little so-so for you? It is a challenge. It's a challenge? Like it. It's a challenge that I accept. Alright, well tomorrow. <laughs> You'll see tomorrow will be a different day. And uh, in here, um, they had a plasma table. I don't think it's running now. So, say hello. No. Some people are shy. There's Charlie LaRick! Hey! hey. hey. Together one of the, again! One of the greatest instructors at Lincoln Electric right there. And so it's about two people um, in each well booth and everybody's helping each other, taking turns back and forth. And then some people are going over to the other side over there and doing some plasma stuff. And Another one of the weld stations here. Everybody's got everything cleaned up. We're putting the screens down for the end of the day. They'll be doing some MIG stuff tomorrow. They won't be using these uh, advanced process machines. They'll be using the 210 MP, the PowerWave 210 MPs, which is what a lot of folks use. We'll be setting these machines all up in the morning and getting the, the power waves ready to weld. 
go. Hold on. So what did you think of today? This is awesome. This is great. I've also learned that I can't, once I'm good at decent at taking aluminum, I completely forget how to take steel and vice versa. I can only but, be good at one at a time. No, you can be good at two. We'll teach you that tomorrow. Okay. So uh, let's go in a little bit quieter area. So we're back out in the hallway. It's a little bit quieter here, so we can uh, talk. Um, anybody have any questions or anything? Try to answer them. I'll give you guys, a, you know, a couple of minutes to uh, get them typed in and popped up there. Otherwise, you know, we'll sign off. I just wanted to uh, give you a quick update. At the end of the day, today was very hectic for us. We came in, you know, that we did the lecture. We started teaching these guys, you know, fundamentals, the principles, all that stuff. Uh, how many students can they handle? RZ produ production over in the Weld School. The old weld school was 120 booths, or is it more than 120. Um, thanks for watching, Tom. Good day. I'll see you. I'll see you soon, Tom. Uh, the new weld school is across the street. I haven't been there yet. That's t I think that's on tomorrow, but it's a lot uh, in the hundreds of students at all at the same time welding. Um, this is actually what we're doing in here. It's a little bit more private scenario because it's where they train uh, like their people. Their field people to, to make sure that before they go out into the field uh, the servicing or working on equipment that they know how to how to operate the machines they can all do good good welding so it's a little bit different Southern California no Lincoln Electric is in Cleveland Ohio that's their headquarters we're at their world headquarters here right now that guy that's Craig Coffey he's the social media guru right there don't let him tell you he's not he's walking away because he's a little bit camera shy but um any other questions, please pop them up there. We'll ask anybody in here if you want to ask April a question, you want to ask uh, Jimmy Prosser, any of the other guys in here a question, we'll go find them, if we can find them. Some people have already started to leave for the day, but we will do this again. We'll try to do it tomorrow. I may even do a live of the tour of the Weld School, because from what I understand, the Weld School is crazy. Hey, Dustin, Florida from Cleveland. You know, it's really weird. The weather here is like 30. Oh, it's 33, and if you saw my live feed from the Christmas Story house yesterday, I'm wearing short sleeves. It's seriously not as cold as it is. At 30 in Florida, I'd be like three shirts deep. Brian Block, hello, Brian. Say hi to Jimmy. What age do you have to be? Well, um, I'm going to say it's probably going to have to be high school or above to get into the weld school. Um, just because of the dangers that are involved inherently with welding, they don't want, you know, a young kid. Although I have already let my kids weld and I don't think there's anything wrong with it under proper parental, parental supervision, but there is a certain amount of liability here in the school and I don't know the exact answer to that. Let's see, somebody ask a question. It does feel, to, uh, yeah, it does feel colder down. I don't know why. It's like pleasant outside at 30 degrees, and it's really weird. I don't feel, now if it was breezy, it would be different. I do have to tell you that, but the sun is out, it's sunny. And uh, let's see if we can, let me see if I can turn this camera around. Like, that white out there is snow, like there's snow out there on the asphalt. So it's, it's you know, it's really strange to me, because I'm a native Floridian. Uh, let's see, is Jimmy in there? Jimmy, Brian Block said hello. Brian Block just said to tell you hello. Brian Block, my brother, how are you? Is that the graphic guy? That's the that's the drill dropping guy. Brian Block's the drill dropping guy. So sorry guys, I'm I'm trying to work about a couple things. Did they fix the wiring of the 210 MP? Uh, don't. Uh, oh, I think you mean the foot pedal for DC TIG. I don't know. I, we haven't even busted those machines out. We took them out of the box, set them on the cart this morning, so I, I don't know the answer to that. It is a little strange to me that they do it that way. I was explained that it was that way to keep costs down. Is he? Yeah, we. we, we has he been hanging out a little bit today? <laughs> Said so if you had that much snow in the UK, they would shut everything down. Apparently here, they're just, just they're used to it. So 
Um, as you can see, guys, I'm going to have to sign off here real shortly. They have a bus coming for us. Everyone's kind of kind of hanging out, getting ready to wind it up for the afternoon. Uh, it's about 15 miles back to the hotel, or 15 minute drive back to the hotel, so I really don't want to have to walk. Uh, I would probably see that guy right there. He's going to do something. Just wait for him. That's the man. You have, we, everybody should thank this man. That's Craig Coffee. He's... He put this all together uh, to make it all happen for the YouTubers. Uh, we've all got lots of ideas in years to come, so we're, we're, we're super excited about it. Uh, be sure to tune in tomorrow. Also, be uh, sure to go to the Do Right Fabrication YouTube page, hit subscribe down there at the bottom, and you'll get alerts um, when the videos come up. Because what I'm going to try to do is schedule it so you'll know what time it comes for tomorrow. Also, Do Right Fabrication Facebook page and Instagram. Follow us because we're all trying to tag each other in the Instagram uh, Instagram links. So, um, <laughs> very funny, Brian. So I'm going to sign off for now. Be sure to check us out tomorrow. I will try to do a live tour of the Weld School if they'll allow me. There are certain areas here that they do not want folks to video. It's you know it's trade secret type, type stuff and totally respect that. So thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to tune in tomorrow and the next day because there's more and more and more of this to come. Um, we'll see you real soon.